What's up, Hicks Brunson Eyewear Nation? This is Daniel Brunson, and today I am talking about one of the all-time classic and timeless eyewear looks, and that is the Model 000 by Masunaga Eyewear. So today we are gonna talk about the Masunaga Model 000, one of my favorite frames in my personal collection that I've worn for many years. But first, a little quick bit of history for those of you who may be unfamiliar with Masunaga, the eyewear brand. Now this is a very old Japanese company. Gozimon Masunaga founded the company in Fukui, Japan in 1905 and sort of established the optical industry there. And uh, an important milestone in the company's history was when Masunaga was tasked with making a frame for the Shawa Emperor in 1933. And at that time, this is important to understand, the Emperor was believed to be God. And so they were literally making a, a frame for God and it had to be perfect. They had to achieve uh, eyewear perfection in crafting this frame. And so these two craftsmen went into uh, a room alone and they spent many, many months trying to craft the perfect frame. And what came out of this was uh, learning skills that went above and beyond what anyone else at the time uh, was, was able to do. And the two craftsmen passed these skills down to the craftsmen at Masunaga Eyewear that came after them. And so this tradition at Masunaga of pouring your heart and soul into the craft of making a frame lives on in spirit at, at the company to this day. And that is one reason why their product, uh, the quality controls, the perfection, uh, the, the beauty of how each frame is finished uh, is, is one of the, they are one of the unmatched um, companies today. And not many people know this, but Masunaga uh, actually can manufacture all components of an optical frame from A to Z inside their own factory. Uh, so that's a little bit about the history. Uh, now we're gonna get to the frame, the topic of today's video, the 000. All right, so now let's talk about the style of the 000. This frame to me really captures the fashion of the 1960s. It dates to at least back to that time and it looks a lot like something that one of the characters on one of my favorite TV shows of all time, Mad Men. Uh, there's a character on that show named uh, Roger Sterling, played by John Slattery. It looks so much like a lot of the eyewear that he wore in the show Mad Men, which was set in the 1960s. So you've got this nice, uh, very bold design that is uh, so um, prominent in the 1960s. And I love this look and I love how it can create a signature look for you if you wear this kind of look. You know, this is one of those frames that's gonna make you very recognizable uh, from across the room at the cocktail party because it has such a thick silhouette, thick bridge, really thick wide temple. And you know, if you look at this frame, it comes in seven really awesome colors. Uh, the one I've worn for many years is the all polished black and just a great strong look. I love how you can dress this one up. I wear it to uh, black tie events and I have a lot of fun with it. But you also have a few other colors here. You have a dark, dark tortoiseshell color. So if you don't wanna go as dark as the all black, the tortoiseshell is very nice. You have a really great black demi amber gradient. So it sort of fades from black to this kind of wood grain demi amber color down here at the bottom. Um, then you have, this is a really fantastic color. This is a brown gradient. It kind of fades to a little bit of a gray tinge down here. And then it has the black temples on the side. This probably to me is one of the most uh, interesting colors uh, that's offered in the 000. And then there are some newer colors. This is actually a navy. So very dark, uh, kind of reads black, but if you look close, it's actually a, a navy color. And you also have this olive color. So if somebody needs something a little softer on the skin, the olive is really nice. If you don't want to look, that's quite so bold as some of the darker colors. And then brand new um, is this crystal color. And uh, we've been doing a lot more, I talk about this um, sometimes, I've been doing a lot more of this color uh, lately. This is uh, somewhat more of a trendy color, this kind of crystal 
clear tone. This one has just a nice little bit of smoky gray tones in it, so it's not like a true crystal, which I think makes it look more flattering on most uh, faces, on most people, than when it's just a flat, straight crystal color uh, with no, no actual color pigment at all. And then there's a nice new little feature as well here. There's a sunglass clip um, made by Masunaga that now is available for the 000. So you can get it just by itself. You can get it with the sunglass clip. And by the way, we will make uh, links available in the description box down below so that you can shop all of these uh, Masunaga 000 frame colors, including the sunglass clip here. Uh, at hicksbrunson.com, so check the links down below to shop everything that I've shown in the video today. Uh, but when you get uh, past the fashion uh, component of the 000, there's a few other key details about this frame uh, that make it so special. Uh, so let's talk about um, the way it's made and the components. Uh, a hinge is very important, uh, a good sturdy hinge. And the 000 here has one of Masunaga's trademark seven barrel double riveted titanium hinges. So what does that mean? It's a really strong hinge, very unlikely to break this hinge. It's a, it's a tank. Um, but it, it's smooth when it opens and closes and the way it, it fits together, there's a reason why it, it's so smooth and feels so good on. There's over 200 manual processes in the making of a Masunaga eyewear frame and one of those processes is the polishing. And actually, at a certain point, the frames go into a big tumbler that tumbles the frames around to polish them. But before that, the craftsmen at Masunaga actually hand polish the inside of the temple and the, and the backside of the hinge where it meets up against the frame. And that is one reason why they're so smooth and they fit together so well and so precise. And when you look at um, one of the symbols that you'll typically see Masunaga is known for, you're not going to see their name on the outside of any of their frames. Uh, you're going to see this uh, parallelogram, that is this uh, silver little uh, symbol on the outside of the temple, uh, outside of where the, the double riveted hinge is. And you're going to see this on almost all of the Masunaga acetate frames. That's one of their little trademark uh, design components. And then on the inside of the temples, you're going to see uh, the name Masunaga since 1905. That's very important. They've, they've been around over 100 years. And if you look at uh, the other temple, you'll see these Japanese characters uh, next to the model number. So you'll see the 000 model number, but you'll also see these Japanese characters. And uh, these characters translate into, uh, in, in the English, ray of light. Uh, so such a, a beautiful, harmonious collection when you look at how um, the 000 is made and all of the new colors, all of the colors, all the classic colors, and, and then a couple of the new colors there. Uh, there's really something for everybody uh, if you're looking for one of those timeless, classic, iconic uh, looks as I uh, have uh, always been drawn to myself. So again, all of the looks I've shown today, I'm gonna make those available for you to shop in the description box down below. I wanna thank each and every one of you for tuning in to uh, this video. If you have any questions or comments, uh, we'd love to hear from you. You can drop those down in the comments down below and, uh, or you can reach out to us. We'll make our email uh, contact information available as well if there's uh, anything you're looking for. And if uh, you're new here, make sure you uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos.